I don't know any of this, but I'm going for... Um, oh my god, I don't even know how to... You guys, how fun I've just stayed in this 130 plus years old house. A Victorian house in this historic area inside the cruise with all of this beautiful and unique Victorian houses. That is a cool one. I actually love the color. So, how's the experience here? Hi guys, we're right now downtown Santa Cruz. Close enough, like downtown is just a few blocks away and behind me, there's also a few blocks away from the beach Whoa, look at all the area Here is the chicken Let's go So actually, welcome to like my house for this next three days And this is nice this is the main building and I'm staying up here. Since it's like the old school kind of building, the ceiling is just right here. And we got some like street views over here. But I guess we cannot get out here. And the bed, first come first serve. Two bunk beds. And I'm the only one here right now. So I think I'm gonna go for the not bunk bed one. That one for sure. My my stuff here. The next building, there's like kitchen, media room, and all the laundry stuff. We're gonna check that out as well. If you wanna go in, you need like the code, which I have it right here. A secret. Ah, so we already in like a the building, but this is people sitting out there. But so I don't want it to be like too awkward. This is the outside area. My channel just suddenly turned into a makeup channel. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Tomorrow, we'll check out some more about the facility and really... I'm not sure if this is going to be the most or at least comfortable one. It's like really springy, kind of. I'm not really into this kind of here yet. Morning. You gotta see how funny this is. They have a timer. <laughs> I actually have to flip like another time or two. That was not enough. That was like five minutes or something. And see how tiny the the shower is. Like this is my size. So pretty much that small. Like real small. But for me, for me, like totally fine. In the morning, it's actually prettier with all like the light coming in, all the kitchen and everything looks so light. They don't exactly provide breakfast, but they actually provide coffee and all the teas and stuff that you can have unlimited in the kitchen. And some apple, I suppose. They have this free space area where you could actually donate when you leave or the hostel itself donates food for you so you can just use that kind of stuff In the kitchen, they have like this big sign Dishwasher That's kind of funny I'm gonna go have breakfast now Honey Mama's best of the best Chocolate bar The hostel I was just staying was just right there. It's called High Santa Cruz, a hostel operated in a Victorian house that has been here for more than 130 plus years since like 18, 
80-ish. The house originally called Camelita Cottage. If you may wonder what the Victoria House is, it's actually like all the houses that built during the Queen Victoria reign. The period when the British kind of colonize all these cities and this become colonial city. So inside just looks as cool as outside. Like it's not exactly the way it used to be. It's been renovated for many times. But you see like how pretty it is inside it's it's like a, it's renovated but you still get the vibes of like the olden time kind of also the staff they're really nice like really welcoming and really helpful the place always clean and tidy it's close to everything the beach it's just two three blocks away and then downtown it's just five blocks away i'm glad i stay there it's such a unique and beautiful experience and also it's inspiring it's it's not everywhere that you can stay in this kind of place so quite cool behind me right there that's the hostel and then from here we could already see the beach like the boardwalk right there so we're gonna go check that out a little bit 